everyone, my name is Damian Bocci and welcome to my back room here in sunny Tampa Bay, Florida. And today I'll be teaching you that two chorus Chicago blues shuffle that I just played for you. Now within those two choruses of the 12 bar blues, there's some really cool chord voicing, some unique rhythm patterns being played, double stops, and some single note lines that I think will really enhance your playing. Now there's nothing wrong with playing a boogie woogie style rhythm like this. But there's certainly nothing wrong with changing things up a bit and maybe adding some horn line stabs and some piano based fills on the guitar. And by doing this it gives your playing some variety and gives you a list of options to choose from when playing over a blues. So first, before I show you how to play this up close, slowly, and with on-screen tabs, I'd like to go over first real quickly what I was playing in those two choruses. So we're playing in the key of E today, and I start with a four-bar intro before we get into the two choruses of the 12-bar blues form. So on the backing track, the bass is playing this, B, A, E. we're playing is this. So to start off I have my fingers positioned on a B major triad here and we've got that minor third to the major third going on. Then down to A and then we play this. And it's basically just going down the E minor pentatonic scale with some added flair doing those hammer-ons for some bonus flash points. And that quick little double stop, well all that is is just basically a C9 and a B9 chord and I'm just playing only the G and B strings of that. Alright and now we start the 12 bar blues form, we're over the one chord. And we jump into it with this double stop motif, playing that minor third to major third thing again like this. And then we get a bit fancier when we move to the four chord, we're playing over A, and we play this. Then we go back to E playing over the one chord again and we kind of follow what we just played over the four chord back on the one here. And to finish up the first chorus we play this over the last four bars. And now we start the second chorus which is my favorite part. This part is really swinging. So to start, we play this E9 voicing, which is a uh, known as the Freddie King chord. And then I play this cool sliding ninth chord thing right after that. And I'd like to show you how I was doing that. So here's a rootless E9 chord. And I'm gonna just play the D, G, and B strings of the chord. I'm gonna move up two frets here, F sharp nine position here, and I'm just gonna move it down two frets like that. All right, so let me show you that whole thing that I was doing there. Starting off with that Freddie King E9 chord. And then we move to the four chord and we play A9. And what I'm doing there is playing the notes on the A, D, and G strings here. I could play it down here if I like, um, but playing it here, up close to where we were playing the A9 is very economical, instead of having to move down here. But I like how it sounds up here too, you can get a, a real tough sound, you know, it's thicker. And then when we go to the 5 chord, we play B9. And to finish everything off, we just play that E minor pentatonic run again. To a nice ending there with the E6 chord. Now here's a little tone tip if you'd like. Uh, during the performance of this, what I did was have my amp set to the edge of breakup. 
I wasn't using any pedals, just plugged straight into the tube amp, and that was it. And the reverb up, uh, but that's all. No pedals or anything. Just as you break up, get that cool, nice, fat, bluesy tone. Now, if you're digging this lesson so far today, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to take your jump blues or rockabilly guitar playing to the next level, I have two great full-length courses on jump blues guitar and on rockabilly guitar. And they're both available at my website at damianbocci.com. All of the lessons come with PDF file guitar tabs and backing tracks. And the courses are available as a DVD or as a download. These lessons, friends, will not disappoint. Now friends, basically a lot of what I was teaching you today was inspired by Robert Lockwood Jr.'s playing on Little Walter's Shake Dancer. It's a really great instrumental. Harmonica's taken the lead on this tune, but Robert plays some really great backup behind him. Great stuff. If you haven't heard the song before, check it out. Little Walter, Shake Dancer. And now let's learn this up close, slowly, and with on-screen tabs. And don't forget to check out that backing track to practice this after it at the end of the video. All right, let's do this. Yeah! One, two, three, four. friends, that's all the time that we have for this video today. I want to thank you for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed the lesson, please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to take your jump blues or rockabilly to the next level, I have two great full-length courses that are available at my website at damianbachi.com. And now friends, I'd like to leave you with some inspiring words. Shoes can be like people. And what do I mean by that? Well, if they hurt you, then they aren't your size. So basically what I'm saying is, never settle for less than the life that you deserve. And never abandon yourself or your desires for the sake of someone else. And never fight or chase someone for their love and acceptance. Because you deserve to be your true self. And anyone who doesn't accept you for you, doesn't deserve to be with you. And with that, friends, I'm going to say goodbye to you. Much love to you all out there. Stay safe. And I'll see you soon in another guitar lesson. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.